Hey guys, welcome back. So today we get um, 2021 GV80 um, customer complaint um, no horn. So as you can see there, there's nothing going on. Um, let me try doing our remote. Um, let me try hold this. Nothing. Okay, so no horn. So basic checks. Um, okay. So we'll check our um, horn circuit and see. Um, I'm gonna look for that relay and let's eliminate if it's a horn problem, we have a relay problem or our switch problem. So um, let me. So here's our um, horn circuit. As you can see on that side there, there's our 15 amp fuse there, our relay, and two horn and one ground there. And this is our clock spring area here and a switch for our steering wheel. So I'm just gonna look for that 15 amp fuse for a horn. Uh, we'll check our power there, make sure that it's good, and we'll check our relay and see from there. So here's our junction box here for our fuse and relay, and we're just going to look for our 15 amp fuse for the horn. And let me look for that Over here. That's our 15 amp fuse beside 15 and 20. Uh, this guy here so let me just double check that fuse, that fuse is hot all the time so we should have ok so our test there works power power there now I'm just gonna go straight to our relay make sure our other side of the circuit the control circuit is working so so I can't do that. So there's no separate relay for. It's just. Um, so you know what? It's just go straight to our connections. Because that's too much work there. Um, if you can access this ET, um, if you can access this EE31, it's gonna be this side here. So that's it. I think that's accessible. I can remove the. So as you can see there, EE31. Because this guy is not accessible. There's too much um, removal of components. So we're just gonna go here on the EE31, and that's gonna be on that side here, on the right side area, on the front. And we just, I guess, we're gonna remove our little liner there. And you can check our voltage there coming in and there's our horn there right there's another one horn there so there's another horn there on the left side so um let's i'm gonna lift up the vehicle and Okay, so as you can see there, that's our horn there. I guess that's um, the connector is more accessible. Let's just check that um, power connect um, power feed there, and if it's working or not.
Okay, so I'm not gonna go do that um, big connector. Um, we're gonna do the because it's more accessible. I, I think this is the one that they're talking about. It's too much work to remove. So I can see that our horn is there. And then I got my headlight bulb here. I just connect it to our connector itself. And I'm gonna lower the vehicle and then let's check that light if it's working or not. I'm just gonna go switch our horn. I don't know if it if the bulb turned on. Um, I'm gonna ask someone. I just wanna see it myself. I don't know if it. Um, capture in the recording. I'm gonna ask someone to press the horn and see. Press the horn. Oh, good. Oh, good. Okay, that's good. Thank you. Okay, so we know our circuit works. Um, I'm just gonna plug this in. Don't tell me two horns are not working. Okay, and then I'm gonna So it's not connection problem. It's a uh, horn problem. So I'm just gonna double check so the same thing, I remove our left side and the location of the horn is still the same but it's in the, just on the other side of the vehicle so I'm just gonna press our horn and make sure our test light works okay so we know our circuit works no issue with the wiring and this vehicle needs two horns so um, let's wait for that um, component and we'll replace it and verify our repair. So we get our new part for the horn. Um, instead of doing on the sides and the wheel liner, we can also remove the undercover and it's more, I think, accessible and easier for us to replace it. So I'm just gonna remove our undercover and we'll replace our horn. Okay, so our horn on this side, I think that's the high pitch. Usually, they will, um, there's an indication in the horn itself that it says H. So, and I'm just gonna use a quarter inch ratchet and socket. Okay, I'm just gonna install our new horn.
same thing. Same thing. So I'm just gonna put all our undercover and lower the vehicle and then okay guys so we're just gonna verify our repair okay that's good I'm just gonna use a remote for okay that's good so both um, both high and low horns are working so that's it guys, um, I hope you enjoyed this video and don't forget to like and subscribe and see you next time. Thank you for watching.